Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how you can get a hold of the new MuseScore Studio 4.5 beta release. So this isn't a full release yet, you won't get any automatic notification about it, but it is kind of a big deal. It's, it's, it's really the, what, probably the biggest update since the original uh, MuseScore 4 uh, release, you know, a couple years ago. And uh, it would be great if you want to try it out and uh, help test it. And also, I'm going to be featuring it in my cafe uh, this week. So uh, if you want to get a hold of it for yourself, what I uh, will uh, show you to do here is go to MuseScore.org. So actually, I'll just do that. I'll just go to the main page here, show you exactly how to get there. So you're going to go to MuseScore.org, and then if you click under Support and Forum, this is where you will uh, get to the, the forums and in the announcements forum. If you're not already following this forum, you might want to do that. But if you've never done it before, here is the announcements forum and you'll see the announcement of MuseScore Studio 4.5 beta. And when you click on that, it'll take you to the actual announcement and then you will find the installers. So for Windows, there's two versions, an actual MSI file, which is a regular Windows installer. There's this thing called a portable app that allows you to run it without a full installation and that would allow you to even run it on like a, a library or a school computer where you don't have admin. For Mac OS, it's a DMG file. For Linux, it's, it's an app Im image file. You'll download it, you'll install it, and it will install alongside your existing MuseScore Studio. So if you've already got 4.4.4 or something else, it's not going to mess that up it will install alongside it so you can test it. Now, if you save a score in 4.5 beta, you won't be able to open it in an older version, so be aware of that. But there's really a lot of new stuff to explore in here, and I'm gonna be guiding you through it in this week's MuseScore Cafe, but you'll see there's a new percussion input system. I'll spend some time on that. New way of entering dynamics using keyboard only, a new note input mode, lots of improvements to the engraving, and just a, a lot of things to explore. So if you haven't uh, done so already, definitely recommend you check out the MuseScore Studio 4.5 beta.